Hey guys, welcome to the next one and today, slightly different, it's going to be a week challenge. Um, so something that you've been seeing a bit on, on YouTube is a no added sugar diet. Essentially, yeah. So what we're doing is it's the first in a series of five day challenges. So this week we're going to do five days of no added sugar. I'm, I'm optimistic. I mean, I don't eat that much sugar anyway. So I think I'm done. I'm going to do all right. We'll yeah, I mean, I'm I do have a sweet tooth, so it's going to be a yeah. little bit more difficult for me. But yeah, you're the challenge. You're definitely the sweet tooth. I'm savoury every yeah. time. But yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm mean, I'm excited to see what kind of results we get from it. Whether it helps in any way outside of digestion and what have you, but um, and any side effects we get. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm, I mean, straight away, I'm going to call it, I'm probably going to be cranky. <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned, let's, uh, let's see how we do. Good morning, and it is day one. Uh, it is five to nine at the moment, and... This is the no sugar challenge, which is turning out to be a little bit more difficult than we <laughs> first anticipated. However, we will power through. So my breakfast. I know, one. yeah. Day one, like already struggling <laughs> for breakfast. Meal one, never mind um, tea tonight. However, uh, for breakfast, I'm probably going to have some bran flakes or something like that, something without any sugar in. Well, you can't have any milk. Our milk has got sugar in it, but like, unsweetened milk. For breakfast this morning, I'm going to have tap water. <laughs> and I would normally have a cup of tea, which would make me very sprout and alert. Jesus. But I'm on water this morning because it's my proper milk. So, fortunately, almost like we planned it, um, we are low on food supplies. So, tonight we're going to go food shopping, we're going to get some bits that'll make this process a lot easier and we will obviously be looking at the uh, and labels. Yeah, we're going to scrutinise every piece of food that we get which is going to be a lot of fun and the normal half an hour shop or whatever in Lidl <laughs> uh, will probably turn into much, no. much longer. Maybe an argument in the middle over whose spaghetti has less sugar um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. So it is now 11 o'clock in the morning and I had my eggs and they were lovely and Jess you had your fruit and it was fruit filling yeah yeah I'm still hungry by the way I'm just oh. gonna throw that out there I had three eggs oh, I had a banana and uh, uh, I had one banana and one apple and we were just discussing why Jess has a headache and it's because we've not had tea today have you? I normally, by now, I would normally have had at least two cups of tea. So I think it's kind of caffeine withdrawal but I'm struggling, <laughs> genuinely struggling. So we've raided the cupboards, we've gone through all the backs of foods, we've gone through all the ingredients uh, you'd, you'd have thought really we'd have done this before we started the challenge, but it is dinner time on day one and we're going through it. We're deciding what we're going to get from the shop tonight and what we're going to have for tea as well. And one of the things that we've found is basically everything has sugar in it. You, there are very few things in the kitchen that you would have as part of a staple British diet that do not have sugar in. Um, even rice has some form of sugar, well, golden vegetable rice has some form of sugar, however, it's natural sugar. Uh, so, we've gone through and white bread, the, the loaf that we have, there's no added sugar in it, it's the natural sugars from the wheat and the yeast, etc. And although we think that we could have it, we're going to get rid of it and we're going to get some brown bread. Uh, and we're going to eat that instead and we're going to try and stick to it as much as we can with just having natural sugars rather than any of the added sugars, manufactured sugars, anything like that. So we'll see how it goes. 
Jess enjoyed her omelette for dinner. I've got some battered chicken fillets, which I'm gonna have with some rice, which there is some sugar in the rice. However, as I said, it's uh, it's natural from the peppers and the peas and sweet corn, etc. that's in there. So yeah, a bit of an update for you. It's good news because we can actually have some foods. So I was beginning to panic thinking we were gonna live off plain brown rice or plain brown pasta for the next week. However, um, there are things that we can have. Yay! So we are about to go shopping. We've got our list. And to be honest, it, it's mainly like meat, fruit and veg. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're gonna have a look around and see what like, hopefully look for some inspiration and get some of the meal ideas. But at the moment, it's mainly just things like chicken, um, a bit of mince, some brown bread, some rice. We're going to be making our own sauces, so we're going to get um, tinned tomatoes, some herbs, some spices, you know, things like that to put in. And then we can have like spaghetti bolognese with that as our sauce. All natural sugars, obviously. Um, no added sugar ones. So it's, it's going to be an interesting shop. I don't know, genuinely, I can't put my fat finger on how much it's going to cost. No, I've got no idea. On another note, I've got the worst headache. I just feel grim. I actually grin. I was buzzing, I thought this was going to be proper easy for me. I was like, I don't eat that much sugar. I have to admit, I do have a headache, but I don't know if that's just because I, I'm, I'm tired. Yeah. I just can't, I just haven't been able to concentrate today. Um, but yeah, we'll go do the shopping, come back. Let's show you what we got. So it is day one and the night of. We've managed a full day avoiding added sugar. Um, now obviously we started off the morning avoiding all sugar of any kind apart from fructose and um, the All those other Yeah, um, however as we went through the day it became apparent that it is genuinely impossible to avoid all fruit, all sugar um, So we're, we're quite content with things like fructose um, Natural sugars that you yeah. get from fruit, veg Things like that. We're just avoiding processed sugar, no added sugar, stuff like that. But yes, so we did our food shop and it is eye opening we to were see. We were there for ages. We were, and we literally read everything. You know, one of those people, and you see we them, the, and they're just we, reading yeah, we were the everything. Label people. Yeah, uh, but genuinely, it is amazing what has the sugar in. Sugar and in. gravy. In gravy. Why? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I uh, I picked some bacon up and I was like, oh, I'll just get smoked bacon. There'll be nothing wrong with that. It's got sugar in the smoked uh, flavouring. So we'll have to have a look at normal bacon and see if that's got sugar in. But I was genuinely devastated. It's quite disheartening, I think, because the stuff that, like your healthy choices, where it's like quinoa crisps and, you know, those oat bar things and they're full of, of sugar and it's like... Why is it healthy for you then? Like, yeah. But I genuinely have had the worst headache all afternoon. It's easy now that I've had my tea, but... So it's day two, it's dinner time, and... Yeah, I don't know how excited I am, to be honest. It's weird not having sauces. I mean, the key point definitely for doing this is to meal prep because we stood there in the kitchen before and we just stared at the cupboards of all this non-sugar food and went, I've no idea what to have. Um, so definitely some forethought. However, for dinner today, I have got two cheese and lettuce pitters with no sauce because we have no sauce that doesn't have sugar in. Uh, two of these oat peanut butter balls that Jess made yesterday, which are quite nice. They're just a bit dry um, we also got these oat crackers um, which are bite-sized crispy oat snacks and they are cheese flavored there's no sugar in them which is obviously why we got them um, and I think they're actually they are they're gluten-free I, I don't know how excited I am for, for, for breakfast this morning I had an omelet with Peppers, some tomatoes, some spring onion, and a little bit of paprika, which is quite nice. I didn't eat it all, but it was, it was okay. 
the, the tomatoes were tin tomatoes that I put on in replace of tomato sauce, uh, which still upsets me that I couldn't have with the eggs. However, uh, I'll get over it. How's your day two going so far? Good, thanks, yeah. Yeah, good. My dinner, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was dry. It's a good job I've got two litres of um, orange juice next to me. <laughs> However, it was nice, it was good. It, what I'm finding is that a lot of my meals are gonna be based around eggs, peanuts, and oats. And dairy products. And dairy products. Well. Yeah. yeah, how was your dinner? It was good. <clears throat> I had garlic chicken pasta, which was really lovely actually. Um, and then for my breakfast this morning I had cheese and crackers, so. So it is nearly the end of day three. Uh, we were planning on filming what we have in the cupboards tonight, but we're gonna do that tomorrow when we've got a little bit more time. One of our days today. Uh, however, it's Wednesday night. It is Wednesday, my dudes. And we have had three days of no added sugar foods. And to be honest, I'm not starving. Um, I've had a headache for about three days, I'll throw that out there, um, and I am becoming more educated on what actually goes into food, which sounds like uh, I'm just saying that, but genuinely when you look at the ingredients in food, everything has sugar in it. Yeah, I mean before this week we were just those mindless shoppers that just get the same thing every week because we know we can make stuff out of it we know that we like it and now i'll, I'll go to, to get something and i'm second guessing everything that i'm eating because i'm like well, what's in it where where where's it come from what what's this that and the other and i've got cravings so bad and normally i'm not a sweet tooth at all am i no but after every meal now i'm sat there like oh, what are you going for like, i want some chocolate or something. <sighs> yeah, I mean that's partly because we know we can't have it, so that that temptation yeah. grows. I think besides that, I'm actually feeling pretty pretty good. I mean, it's been three days, and we're talking about it like it, you know, we've, we've gone it's a through it. Yeah. Change, yeah. Um, I think it's it's doable. Like the beginning of this week, I really daunted to think that it was going to be really really hard. Like I wouldn't find anything to eat. Wouldn't you know be able to enjoy myself any any but. For the most part, my meals don't look that much different. I'm just not using sort of sauces with salad with my salads, or I'm not putting, you know, mayo in tuna for a yeah. potato. I mean, last night the the camera battery died as we were talking about tea. But um, to recap, we made um, oh, it was lovely, it's Yeah, I made a, a spaghetti bolognese with two tins of chin, uh, two tins of chopped tomatoes. Some uh, some herbs and spices, you know, garlic, uh, parsley, things like that. Peppers, onions. Peppers, onions, uh, and just some minced meat and then some spaghetti. And it was actually quite nice. Yeah, it was. I'd like the sauce to be a little bit more tomatoey, but we didn't have any tomato puree, so tip for next time. It Don't get me wrong, it takes a little bit longer because you have to actually bake the sauce, but, you know, it is worth it. You I do think feel taste-wise, it doesn't really take much away from it, does it? Yeah. No. I felt after my meals now, I'm not as sort of like bloated or I'm not feeling like I've eaten too much. So it is coming up to the end of day four. It is Thursday. We know we're bad at this. We are bad at this. We haven't filmed, but we have for breakfast, dinner, but we are filming tea because tea is gonna be good. Yeah, boy. So, what did I have for breakfast? Today, to be to be fair, I say we didn't film what we had for breakfast and dinner. We, I, I had the same thing I had yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, we, we didn't do a whole lot. For for breakfast, I had some no added sugar Alpen from Lidl. This, uh, muesli. sorry, muesli, not Alpen, Alpen's a brand. This uh, no added sugar muesli, which was okay. It was okay. okay. I, I did actually include this sauce. Here we go. So we picked up this sauce whilst we're out at Lidl and essentially it's it's chocolate orange flavoured uh, 
sauce for drizzling essentially, but it's made, it's plant based, there's no sugar in it, and um, it's actually quite nice. It's very sweet and very sickly, um, but it is really nice. You would think there was sugar in it if it's that sweet. You would think there was sugar in it, but, but there isn't. For breakfast, Jess had cheese and crackers, and then for dinner, she had solid popcorn because we ate a lot of food today. Uh, and for breakfast I had the no added sugar uh, muesli. muesli and for dinner I had three plain rice cakes with some peanut butter on. Mm. Um, which oh, is as dry <laughs> Yeah, which is as dry as it, it sounds. sounds. Um, but yeah, we are halfway through cooking two fillet steaks and chips and a little bit of garlic butter to go on top, which will be lovely. I am here. Hang on. Hi. So this morning, as a bit of a, a round off to the week, we got everything out of the cupboards and we put it all on the table and we split it into what contains sugar and what doesn't, and I say contain sugar, I mean no added sugar of course. And to be honest, it's actually really sad, sad <laughs> and eye-opening because a lot of the stuff that you see over here, we only bought because of the challenge this week. So yeah. we wouldn't normally have sugar-free jelly or sugar-free So uh, I'll just show usually. you everything. So this side is with added sugar this line and then this side is no added sugar we wouldn't have had should i just pull out the bits we wouldn't have had so sam's shopping this week this is what our no added sugar pile would have looked like <laughs> some crispy onions veggie mite a maggie some ivitas cheese Balsamic vinegar, more Ivitas, spaghetti juice, and bread. Then you come over here. <laughs> and there's stuff, there's, there's stuff that shocked us, hasn't there? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, there are the obvious ones, like jam has obviously got sugar in, rice pudding has obviously got sugar chocolate spread obviously has uh, sugar in. But, when you start looking into things like chicken noodle soup, it's literally just got a load of sugar added into it. Heinz spaghetti hoops, it's just got sugar. Gravy, that shocked Yeah, that us. was a shock. That was Bisto a big shock. Bisto gravy. Soy sauce. Bacon. Bacon. Now, because we get the smoked one, I assume in the, uh, in the smoked flavorings, they just add sugar into it, but that's in there. It's weird that there's a Maggie over here, but there was also a Maggie over here. Well, there are three Maggies that actually contain sugar. Sweet chilli you kind of expect because it's the sweet flavourings, but uh, garlic you wouldn't expect, but I suppose barbecue again, yeah. Um, but garlic you wouldn't really expect that one to contain sugar, but yeah, they just chuck sugar in. But then you've got stuff that would be considered like healthy choices, so you've got granola, you've got fruit and fibre back there, you've got sort of honey cereals, snacker jacks, snacker jacks. not the sugar ones, so not caramel or chocolate, oh, they're these salt, are salt and vinegar, yeah, salt and vinegar <laughs> ones, and they are, um, they're full of sugar. You've got obviously bacon that we never even thought about, but looking no. right now it's quite obvious, but if we've had any sauces this week we've had to pre-make them, or like make them ourselves, because pasta bake, curry sauces, uh, tomato sauces, anything like that we've had to make. It's been it's been really weird, hasn't it? Like chicken gravy, it's got sugar in it. Obviously your waffles have got sugar in them, but parsley sauce as well is hidden back there. Yeah, I mean, as I just said, all, all of the sauces, so I've just got a random selection. But you've got a tikka masala, a rogan josh, onion and garlic, pasta sauce. Uh, pasta bake. Pasta bake, all of them contain sugar. Uh, Branston pickle. Yeah, I was really. I sad assume about that it was all. just mushed up vinegar and it, it pickles. It makes sense though when you when you think about it. It does make sense. But yeah, massive eye opener. So it is Saturday, and unfortunately, we didn't actually get a chance to film Friday. No, I ended up having to go to work. 
and didn't get back till late and then we had a zoom quiz with my family at home for friday night so which we didn't win by the way again unfortunately <laughs> so. yeah but yeah i mean we, we've come to the end of the five days and i feel all right i <laughs> it was challenging but it was much easier than i thought it was gonna be yes for the first agreed. two days i had the worst headache it was awful i couldn't concentrate my head was pounding and I was just irritable, like proper miserable. Um, but then Am my... I allowed to agree <laughs> or do I have to di disagree there? Like, oh no, you were lovely, you were lovely all the time, oh my god. <laughs> no, I was, I was horrendous. Yeah, it was good though. Like, I, I feel like my skin is improved. Not loads, but definitely a little bit. Um, and getting up in the morning, although it's not something I like doing, it's much easier. I'm not as groggy in the morning. No. Normally I'm, it's like 11 o'clock before I'm actually awake. I don't think I'm gonna spend the rest of my life avoiding no uh, sugar added foods because there's there are quite a few things that I actually enjoy eating that I definitely couldn't have yeah. had this week. And there probably are alternatives and, and what have you, but for ease, like you finish work at you know half five, something like that. <laughs> you fancy a chicken curry, you go and get a jar of curry. Um, yes, it's got added sugar in, but it's that convenience aspect, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, we hope you've enjoyed uh, this challenge and us completing the challenge. We've got a couple more challenges uh, lined up, especially five day challenges, because it was quite a good little experiment. I think they're really good experiments and you get like a little snapshot. You don't get any sort of long term results, so if we'd have done this for like 30 days, it would have been totally different. Yeah, 100%. Result overall, I think. It'd be a lifestyle change. Exactly, it? but the little five day snapshot, it's enough of a commitment to know whether you want to carry on with it or not. Yeah, definitely. And you can pull little things out of each of those, so. Um, like I said, the breakfasts were quite good, different um, shopping ideas. Protein snacks, yeah. Quite homemade little snacks, things yeah. like that. So, yeah, definitely some ideas that you can pull out without up upheaving your, your whole lifestyle. Life, yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and hit, hit subscribe. And let us know what five day challenges you want to see. Because I think I want to do like a. We woke up at 5 a.m. every day for five days, sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>